guy stole a woman's purse at a uh, brewery uh, out uh, in Roncesville Watch on the this. weekend. Guys, so she left the standing. purse ha hanging over the back of the chair. He's been standing. He was he was standing there pretending to be on a cell phone uh, for a while. Um, He's got his jacket hung over the right yeah. side of his shoulder to see so, that. See, see, he grabs the purse there. Now. now it, it, people, people are all sorts all already playing Monday morning quarterback. Well, I would have done something. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have jumped the guy. I did no, that. No, you know what? This is a norm. They try. They blend in on purpose. How did she not feel it? She didn't feel it. They're that good. No, you, it's on the chair. Yeah. How did the friend not see it? Not only that. Look at this. The waiter. The waiters go by around the man about 30 times. At what point? Because this is inside the restaurant cab. This isn't outside yeah, by so the street. So he's standing there. What do you? So at what point, does, sir? Can I get you a table? Can I help you? I notice you're standing here. Are you waiting for someone? Oh, and he, can I get maybe, you a table, maybe sir? Maybe they did. I mean, this isn't the point here. The the point is to show you how easy it can happen. We we don't know all the circumstances. The waiters may very well have said, "Can I get you a table?" Said, "No, I'm waiting for a friend," and they ignore him for for the rest of that time. Now, they provided security video. Now, we have a close-up picture of the guy. So let's talk about this one okay. first of all. Uh, I, it, I, because it zoomed in on the security video. But it could be pretty recognizable to someone. So if you know who this person is, call 11 Division or call Crime Stoppers. You can remain anonymous if you think you know who he is.